I eat what's being put on my plate, that's respect, you know what I mean? So if my mum's putting meat on my plate, I'm obviously going to eat it. Out of respect for your mum? Out of respect for anyone. Like yeah. if someone put meat on my plate, I'm going to eat it. Do you want to talk about this? Do you know what it... Uh, so on the sign it says a humane slaughter is a myth. Prove me wrong. Do you believe that humane slaughter is a thing? Yeah. You do? Okay, well come and talk to me about it. So we're filming, is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so my my position is that like you can't kill someone in a humane way who doesn't want to die, basically. That's my position. Un there's only one exception, like if someone wants to die, like if they are like if it's a mercy killing, like if it's euthanasia and they're suffering and you can't help them. Like if an animal is suffering and you can't help the animal, euthanasia is fine. It's actually the most humane thing to do. But I'm talking about food animals, dairy cows being slaughtered, egg laying hens being slaughtered, meat animals being slaughtered I don't think you can do that in a humane way because those animals want to live it's like it's like with humans unless like they murder someone that like they don't have a choice you know what I mean yeah but it's like sometimes with animals they don't have a choice yeah. they're, they're like do you know well they don't they don't ever have a choice in the food industry they don't want to be there yeah exactly but I can't say it because I eat meat so like <laughs> so, so when you eat meat you're uh, demanding they supply murdered animals to you. I didn't think of it like that. Turn <laughs> vegan. Are you a vegan? Come over here. I, Let me show. Personally, I was a vegetarian, but I had yeah. an eating disorder, so I had to include more meat. In you had an eating disorder? Yeah. yeah. And they told you you need to eat meat to... Yeah, pretty much. They said that I needed to eat more because it. You need to eat more. Okay. With like, I needed to include more meat products into. Oh really? Okay. Well, uh, maybe you could uh, navigate that with a, some better help without having to pay for animals to be slaughtered. But like, when do you agree that like when you buy meat or let's just say you're consuming meat, you, you say your parents are buying it for you and you're consuming your share of this meat, that you're helping an industry continue to exploit and kill animals? <laughs> no, but like... like you, you know, like when... Like let's I just say I was... I don't, like, I don't agree with it, but... You don't agree with that? No. You agree that... that you agree with me that, that you are causing slaughterhouses to exist by consuming yeah, these yeah, products, yeah? I agree that, like, they don't have a choice and stuff and they shouldn't be dying for, thing, for food and stuff, but if you think about it, People have been killing animals and stuff for as long as you can remember, do you know what I mean? Back in the day, it wasn't, it wasn't vegetables, the poor had vegetables. The more richer you were, the more you got the meat. Yeah. So it's like, it's been happening for as long as you can remember. Yeah. So it's, now it's like, it's a normal thing. It's oh, an everyday course, thing, it's yeah. a lifestyle. But you don't think that just because something's been happening for a long time, that that makes it ethical? No, I don't yeah. think that. But, what but you're I'm, just saying it's been normalised yeah. because it's been happening for so long. So, like, with yeah. Vikings and stuff, they get meat yeah. to keep themselves ready and active for yeah. when they're, like, fighting in wars and stuff. So now you would say, you would say that it's needless? I, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm just... We'd, would you say it's needless to slaughter animals for their bodies? Well, we'd, people will keep eating meat, it's protein, but... I don't think it's right, but it will carry on happening. Yeah. So, so, you don't think it's right, but it will carry on happening, but will you carry on participating in it? Well, personally, I eat what's being put on my plate, that's respect, you know what I mean? So if my mum's putting meat on my plate, I'm obviously going to eat it. Out of respect for your mum? Out of respect yeah. for anyone. Like, yeah. if someone put meat on my plate, okay. I'm going to eat Let it. Let me give you a thought experiment. What if I uh, tortured a dog, cut them up into pieces and put it on a plate for you, and out of respect, would you eat it? Well, no, not like that. Like, why not? Wait, 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 wait. I want to find out why not. You said it's respect, that that's why you'd eat the tortured animal on your plate, and I said it's a dog. Out of respect, I'll cook it for you. Would you eat it? Well, no, not like that. I didn't mean it like that. Like, I meant, like, if my mum cooked... A burger, I'm going to eat it because, like, my mum cooked it. Yeah, yeah. so I, I gave you a, a thought experiment and I said, okay, what if your mum cooked a tortured dog and minced it up into no, a burger? I eat that. Yeah, but why not? That's what I want to know. Why, why have you got a double standard there for... You would eat pigs and eat chickens and eat cows and eat fish, but you won't eat a tortured dog for some reason. I want to find out why that is. Because... It, I know why she won't. Because, like, all these years they've already been killing cows and all that. And, like, kill a dog's a pet. 
there's no wild dogs, you know, like cows, no one keeps cows as a pet. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, no, I wouldn't say no one keeps cows as a pet. Sanctuaries uh, keep animals as companions and they look after them throughout their whole life until they pass away. Um, so, but uh, do you think that because a dog is a pet, like that's some moral, ethical reason? I think it'd be better to, instead of killing the cow, wait until it dies naturally. Oh, you can okay. eat so we can, we can eat people if they die naturally too then, hey? But that's different, like... Well, why is it different? I'm trying to find out what ethical. I'm trying to find out what's ethical. That's cannibalism. Yeah, I'm talking about ethics. Like, if let's just say there's some someone that died and no one knew who they were and on the side of the road, like you could probably eat them, yeah. No, not like that. She don't mean it like that. She meant like with cows. I'm trying to get you to steer away from looking at a cow as food because this is what I'm trying to do. Like, uh, there's a yeah, method I to my madness here. Like, you you, you wouldn't eat a dead it. human who'd pa passed away of old age. You wouldn't well, eat a dead why, dog why? that passed away of old age. Mm -hmm. For some reason you would like uh, eat a, a, a chicken or a, a beef burger that your mum cooked, but you wouldn't eat a dog burger that your mum cooked. So I'm trying to find out why you've got distinctions, why, you're, why there's differences here. Because eating a cow and stuff, or like eating bacon and stuff, it's normal. But if you get a dog, it's not normal. In this day and age, it's not normal. Yeah. So can we steer away from normal and try to find out what's ethical? You know what I mean? Like, what's moral? What's the moral thing to do? You know what morals are like? You like, morally, personally, right, morally it's like, yeah, they don't have a choice. They don't have a choice in getting killed. And I understand that, but like, it's... I don't know how to put it. Well, I'm trying to find out if it's a if it's a moral thing to do, like no, to. It's not moral. It's like you shouldn't kill. So it's immoral. You would say yeah. that it's immoral. You shouldn't kill animals. Like you shouldn't. Like honestly, it's like I if I went over to someone now stabbed him, that's immoral. Yeah. I've got no reason to do that. So can I ask you how how old you are? Seventeen. You're seventeen. So but you're you're in the at your parents' house. You're in the care of your parents yeah. at the moment. Yeah. So like. But like, if your parents were like gonna give you something that you were morally against, like let's just say like it is the scenario of a parrot that had been cut, had their head cut off and turned into a burger or a dog or a cat, I don't know if you, you like cats or like, what other animal do you like? Cats. You like, I like love tigers. Cat? Okay, you like tigers. Okay, so I've cut a tiger's head off, put it on the plate. Your parents actually did. Would You would you would protest that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would eat it. Would, I'm not eating it. Yeah, I wouldn't eat it. Yeah, for some reason you'll eat these other animals that are tortured and killed. I don't know if you've seen slaughter footage. I don't know if I want to show you. It might, it might traumatise you. But have you seen what happens to animals? You have? Okay. But it's like, obviously, I've, I don't know. It's like, it is immoral, but no matter what, people are going to carry on doing yeah, it. Yeah, okay. But we're only talking about you. We're only, we're only talking about you today. You're, why you would personally carry on doing it if you feel it's immoral, okay? And, you know, you obviously think these animals feel pain. They suffer. They want to live. Cows, pigs, chickens, fish, yeah? Yeah, but it's... I don't... You've been conditioned. Do you know what conditioning is? No. Like, conditioning is where, you're like, you've been taught that these animals are food. Yeah. Yeah? That's all you see. A chicken, like, you wouldn't even be able to, like, determine the, the animal from the chicken to the food from the chicken, because they're, they're called the same thing, aren't they? A fish is called the same thing, whether it's food or whether it's the animal. So you've been condition, conditioned over your entire life, like I was, that these animals are for food. You can wear you can wear sheep, you can wear their wool, you can you know, kill cows for burgers. That's beef, that's beef, that's not a cow, it's beef. You know, but do you think that that means that just because you're conditioned to do something that is considered normal, that we should continue doing it? With me, I'm open-minded, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what everyone else wants to do is what they want to do. Mm -hmm. What I want to do is what I want to do. Do you get me? I'm not like one of them people that sit here and say, oh, well, you, you're you weird if you don't eat meat or all like that. Well, no, it's your yeah. choice. Yeah, so when you talk about choices, right, you can talk about, like, making a choice. I could make a choice right now to shoot that guy in the face with a shotgun, right? That's a choice. So when you say, when, do you, do you want to go somewhere? Yeah, yeah. Do you have so to go? Like in my house. We only have like, only my dad and my brother eats like a lot of meat. Yeah. My mum's vegetarian. Oh, is she? Okay. Yeah, she don't agree with it. Yeah. Um, I rarely eat meat. You rarely do? Yeah, only when my mum, not my mum, even all when my dad cooks it. Okay. But yeah, if I get it. Cook meat, you get me. Okay. Like, so I don't agree with the killing animals. And like, I, like, but yeah. they're not, we can really do it. And about. raised in factory farms, because yeah. most, the vast majority I've, of. I've seen the videos of like cows and everything be like walking up and just get killed. 
Yeah, I, don't, I mean, they go they go into a knockbox and they get bolt gunned in the skull and have their head cut off and you know their guts cut out of their body and their skin be turned into leather. You know, um, yeah, I don't, pigs get lowered down into a gas chamber. Have you seen what happens inside of a gas chamber? Yeah. Do you want to see it? I've already seen it. Are you okay to watch it? Yeah. So, <laughs> well, pigs are like have the intelligence of a three-year-old child, apparently, scientifically. Now let's just have a look at them. So what, what happens, um, we'll just go past this part, this is piglets getting their heads smashed on the floor because they won't grow fast enough, it's called uh, blunt force trauma, or thumping, happens across the UK. Um, so this is a gas chamber. So 86% of pigs in England and Wales are stunned in these chambers. The CO2 reacts with the mucus in their eyes and their mouth and their lungs and burns them from the inside out. And they suffocate down here. So the gas is at the bottom. They're trying to escape, aren't they? It'd be like drowning, but drowning in a dungeon filled with gas while you're struggling in a cage and you can't escape. And your eyes are burning and your insides are burning. Do you think they're suffering? This was said to be the most humane method for stunning pigs for a long time until activists decide to check out in there what's going on, left some cameras in there. They're trying to escape. Then they get their throat stabbed and blood drained out of them and turned into bacon. So there's heaps of things that happen. There's also the maceration of male chicken. I could show you I could show you endless stuff that happens in the industry in, in the UK. Like it, there's just so much of it. Like I've, you know that first video? Yeah. When people are gonna eat that meat, right? Will that meat not be poisoned? The, the piglets that were smashed on the ground? No, the one where they were getting tossed. Oh no, it's CO2, it's uh, not poisonous gas. It just, uh, you know, it will knock you out. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Yeah, yeah. CO2, I, I mean, like most of the pigs here are gas chambered, so I don't think everyone's getting poisoned from meat, uh, like, acutely. They might get poisoned, like, their heart disease or something later on, but... But anyways, like, if that was a dog in there, would you react differently? Either way, it's all, it's all me. At one stage, I would have probably reacted differently if it was a dog in there, but now I, I see dogs and pigs as you know equal beings worthy of the same respect. Well, yeah, it's true. But to be honest, I don't think anyone thinks of that. No, I don't. Do I only care what you. I only care you what come, you think. When it, you're consuming meat, right? You don't. You don't like pay attention to what's actually happening behind closed doors. Of course you don't. And they don't show you, do they? because it'll put you off eating it. And it'll affect their business, yeah? Yeah, it would. Yeah, yeah no one would you, buy you, it. Yeah, because they don't want you to boycott the meat products. They want you to keep buying them and consuming it and getting your parents to cook it for you or whatever. But, like, if you boycott it, if you be a vegan, then you're saying with your actions that you're against animal cruelty, not just your words. Because your words don't mean anything to the animals. What, what matters is what you're paying for to happen or what you're consuming. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Can I give you some information here? Because these are pretty cool pamphlets, they show you where to eat and what to do, and they uh, got some, um... Here you go. It's got some information on there. You can take them with you. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Yeah, and use it as a guide. But, like... When you leave here, like when you go to the supermarket, or let's just say your parents cook you up a steak or whatever, like, are you gonna say, uh, are you gonna protest or are you gonna like boycott? Are you gonna continue to like just go with the flow and do what's normal? Are you gonna start? I rarely eat meat anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, it's like my mum would cook it, but sometimes I'm like, I don't wanna eat so you, it. So you eat it so rarely that it's so easy for you just to give up right now, really, isn't it? Oh, uh, well, yeah. Like when you're at yeah. my house, you never eat meat at my house. No. I don't sit there and like, oh, can you cook meat for me? Usually like I'm eating dad, salads and stuff like that. My, the only time my dad will eat meat is when he like order takeaway or whatever. We don't really just keep meat at the house, apart from like just chicken nuggets, my brother or whatever. But other than that, like, it's basically like pasta in my. You'd be house. surprised how much meat you actually eat. I mean, I mean, when it comes down to seeing animals being abused in these farms, it's always like, well, I don't eat that much, but you kind of like, I used to eat it three times a day. I mean, nearly every meal. 
not being funny, I do with like there's chicken in the freezer or fridge. I do cook that. Yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I used to I eat it three times a day. I like... the chicken and not be bothered. <laughs> but when I seen like animal cruelty stuff, it was like, oh, well, lucky I don't eat that much. But like I'm literally eating it every time I eat, like, nearly. I can eat a tray of chicken to myself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I used to be able to eat a whole chicken and like a whole leg of ham and like. And, like milk. Cows are still getting used for milk. Yeah, they're being exploited for their milk. They have their children taken away after their pregnancy, so they get forcibly impregnated, have their children taken, and then uh, the the milk will be taken from them. Not the boys will be killed. Yeah, the boys will be shot on the farm uh, because they don't produce milk. Males don't, or they'll be grown for veal, sent off for veal, or grown for beef. And uh, the the dairy cows will be slaughtered after about four or five years. Turned into leather, beef, minced up into burgers. Usually you get minced. You're wearing po- animals. This is fake fur. Nah, that, I don't think that's real fur. That's fake fur. Yeah. 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 No, nah, I, I think that's fake, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's um, but fake anyways, fur. like, yeah, it's like, it seemed like, you know, you wouldn't want to hurt an animal yourself. You know, when, when you, but when you're consuming these products, you're pushing the button on these animals. You're saying, die for me, forcing them to die, forcing them to live a life of hell. You're, you're, adding to the problem but when you go vegan you're, you're doing your best kind of thing to eliminate your contribution to it yeah anyway I'll leave the power up to you guys when you leave here it's up to you alright All right, guys thank you take care see you later okay that was an interesting little chat with those girls I mean it wasn't really a debate was it wasn't too much of a debate with those girls, it was more like just a conversation, but trying to like help them to understand. But yeah, who knows what they'll do from here on out. You know, these seeds, they can flourish later on. Doesn't mean, they might not go vegan straight away. Might be a bit difficult when they're at home to protest, but they'll definitely protest if there was a dog on the table being eaten, that's for sure. But um, yeah, maybe the seed will flourish later on. To wait and see. Like, I think this, humane slaughter is a myth. Yeah, but all, all slaughter in what? Sla- humane slaughter of animals. Oh, animals. I'm sorry, mate. It's ribeye. You love it, yeah. But, like, I don't think you can kill an animal in a humane way if they want to live. I think it's murder. You know what I mean? No, it wants to live. How do you know? How do you know? How do I know you want to live? You tell me. I know, but like I would say, mercy killing is like an exception. So if they want to die, if they're suffering or whatever, like euthanasia is okay. Yeah, 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 but if they don't want, if they want to survive. Listen, I like steak, but I don't agree with it. Yeah. But that's where it's in it is. You want to take this, bro? Before you go, here, just take this with you, man. If you just don't agree with it, like just check out a couple of these films here, bro. And it's just all investigations, with secret footage, and that, eh? All right, See you, brother. Go. Take care, mate. Loves his steak, doesn't agree with it. Maybe he'll change. I don't know. But maybe you watch a few of those documentaries and share it with his friends. It's like, if you don't agree with the slaughter of animals, then stop paying for it to happen. That's about it. All right, so interesting discussions today. We're going to call it a day. Um, Yeah, no one can convince me that slaughter is humane if an animal wants to live. So maybe we'll bring this table out uh, one time again soon. But uh, yeah, no one could uh, prove me wrong, I don't believe. All right.